good morning students yesterday we have discussed about the petroleum product how we will get separately by the refining of petroleum okay and uh, i told you to read related points in that from textbook so now today we will see the products whichever we get from petroleum what are the uses of these different product okay what are the importance of these all product or you can say it is uses also so now we will discuss about the importance of petroleum product now which are the petroleum product which product we get from a petroleum that is a lpg petrol kerosene diesel lubricating oil paraffin wax okay these are the product which we get after the refining of petroleum okay related this point we have discussed yesterday so today we will see what are the uses of of this all product now see the first one is lpg lpg means what liquefied petroleum gas okay so where it is used lpg see lpg is used in our regular see do you know cylinder okay gas cylinder so in that which gas is present actually it is inside the butane it's present so that is the lpg liquid petroleum gas okay it is very light in weight also so this is used we use for the domestic cooking purpose so lpg is used regularly in our house now see the second it is a petrol now related to petrol you all are know what are the uses of petrol okay petrol we use for our vehicles okay so then see fuel for vehicles petrol is used for the vehicles diesel is used for the heavy vehicles but petrol is used for a car okay then our uh, regular vehicles are there for that we are using a petrol now one more use of petrol that is the petrol is used for the dry cleaning purpose do you know see sometimes what happen if our new clothes are there sarees and all so that first wash we are giving for the dry cleaning so dry cleaning means what they are doing exactly they are not using a water as a solvent so instead of water they use petrol for dry cleaning purpose okay so petrol is used fuel for vehicles as well as it is used in a dry cleaning now see next it is kerosene kerosene this also you know everyone kerosene is used in paints cleaners and pesticides okay uh, so kerosene this common uses of kerosene are there that is it is used in a paint cleaners and pesticides now see the next it is a diesel see diesel is used as a fuel for heavy vehicles now heavy vehicles means what see truck okay these buses that are all are a heavy vehicles so petrol diesel is used for a heavy vehicles and use uh, used for generators also now generators means what so instead that time we are using the generators okay so in the generators also what is the use as a fuel that is a diesel okay now see the lubricating oil yesterday also we have discussed for lubricating oil is used for the lubrication now lubrication means what see here it helps to moving parts grinding together to reduce a friction means if it is motor if big vehicles in that also engine oil see do you know that oil we are changing so that what it is that is only the lubricating oil it use to reduce a friction okay so it helps to moving parts grinding together to reduce a friction and because of this the vehicles run very smoothly see sometimes uh, you are using a bicycle okay if you will not use for a uh, many days then what happen what happens so that time what you are using you are using a uh, oil okay so for the same purpose this lubricating oil we use now see the next it is a paraffin wax 
Now paraffin wax is used to make a candles, Vaseline. Okay. So many purpose. These all the products we are using in our regular life. Okay. And see, this is the naturally occurring. Now petroleum. How to get the petroleum? That everyone know that. Okay. But inside a petroleum. these all products are present and these all products we are using for a different different purpose okay so today what you have to do i just written only one or two examples of each if you know more and if you will get the more information about this then write that all the uses of this all product in your chemistry notebook okay and related to this point read point it is there in our textbook as well as if you have any extra book you read from that also okay so now here we will stop remaining points we will continue in our next lecture so thank you